welcome all our listeners today here at Diane Wesley's Calm Through the Chaos. We are so thankful and grateful that you have joined us for information versus misinformation. Now, this is called Calm Through the Chaos because not only are the stories and very real stories about the atrocities, the horrors, the war games, the war crimes, everything that's going on in Ukraine. This is all about Ukraine right now. This is what we want to get across. This is what we want people to feel to act. We want you as Americans to act. We want our friends in Ukraine to act. We want all of you to have the moral fortitude to lift yourselves, to do something. That's why we're doing this. I knew there was a need, but I knew I needed the team, and I have an exceptional team that are part of this. They're part of this journey, part of the Train of Great. Part of my course, Train of Great. Now, over the weeks and months, you're going to see and hear all kinds of things about the truth versus the misinformation that war is not over, my friends. It's not over. I have been keeping up with everything every single day, morning, noon, and night. As we continue and you hear the stories, they're going to tell stories of the beauty behind all the horrors. They're going to tell stories of the horrors and then incorporate the beauty, the kindness, the love, the passion. This is what we want to express. This is what we want to be able to share with you. So you're aware is all part of what we are coming together to do. You can reach us at dwesley at calmthroughthechaos.com. That's dwesley at calmthroughthechaos.com. Ladies and gentlemen, all our listeners, new and old, lining up people that want to come on the show, which is incredible. So yes, you too can do this. But right now, I have the amazing Olena Kandrishan. Did I say that right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> we want to get the information and Olena has insane information. She's got a beautiful story to share. Olena, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me here. <laughs> yes, yes. What we want to get across is the truth, right? We're talking yes. about information versus misinformation. Now, Elena has a two-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a 14-year-old, and she's still here today, and she's still part of the team. That's how much she believes in her country. And that's how much I believe in you and your country. Thank you. You're welcome. The story has to get out. So she's going to tell us some truths because her family lives there and her mom has lived there all her life, right? Yes. This is a powerful story that we're going to tell right now. Then we're also going to tell about the calm through the chaos, which I think is hilarious with what we found out about the cat. But later on the cat right now, <laughs> Right now, let's talk about your mom. Oh my God. Yes. God, God is watching, that's all I can say. You are so blessed. I know. To have her here, because I'm gonna let you tell it in your own words, but her mom wouldn't have been here if she was back in Ukraine. And she's gonna tell you why. Your apartment, her apartment, is right across from where they killed everybody when they were getting the bread in line. Is that correct? Correct. So this is the hard part, my friends. This is the serious hard part of this whole thing. Can you please tell our listeners what happened and how she was saved, but the horrors that went on over there that are very real? Right. So let's come back to the story what happened on March 16 in Chernihiv. Wow. So I saw one viral video on social media accounts and there was incident where 10, 14 people were killed. And there was one American, correct? And one American and while they were staying in the bread line and 18 people were wounded. 18. 18 people were wounded, 14 people were killed, one American, correct? Jim Hill, yes. Jim Hill. Jim Hill. 
So you can look that up. They always want facts. Everybody wants facts. You can't say anything anymore. This is fact. Look it up. You'll find this is truth. Now please tell about your mom. So I will just come back story. So while I saw this video, I noticed that there is house where a similar where I grew up. When I look closer on video, it was my home where I grew up. Hold on. That was your house in Ukraine where you grew up yes. right across the street. Yes. And from that bread disaster. Yes. And that moment when I saw this video and people were killed, body of people were just on the ground, on the video, people oh screaming, crying, and I thought for a, a moment, God, I know what you did. You saved my mom. And what happened, it was true. So one week before war started, my mom had an interview with immigration and she received green card. And only this little things that my, my mom green card was delayed in the mail for a few days. We had to reschedule her flight from Sunday before war started to Sunday while war was already in Ukraine. So this was her saving grace. Yes. The, it was delayed, which happens because that's what's going on right now, right? Yes. But here's the thing. It was because her green card was delayed. Her green card was delayed. In the mail, yes. That she was not in that bread line. Didn't your mom say something to you about the bread line? I wouldn't. So first of all, we did not understand why my mom's documents were delayed so long. And then when this happened, when I show my mom this video, she was crying and say, she hugged me and say, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. And when I was watching this video about bread line, about people who were just like killed at 10 a.m. in the morning, who were just standing and receive bread, I had this moment of, I understood. If my mom would not stay with us here in U.S., if God would not make this magic works, she would definitely be in this bread line. If she can be killed as all the civilian people, innocent people who are just staying in 10 a.m. in the morning waiting for the bread. How it can be possible? Why? Why? I was paralyzed with action for a moment. I was thinking, like, it should not be happen. How it can happen? People, just people wanted to have some food and they were killed just standing oh my god just and, standing in a bread line yes. standing in a bread line ladies and gentlemen welcome back to diane wesley's calm through the chaos so excited for you all to be here once again we are back with my next guest and it's layla grace ladies and gentlemen we've been working together and when we first started she knew nothing about Ukraine, am I right? Yes. When you started doing the detailed mm -hmm. background of what was going on from the fact, the truth, and the information versus the misinformation, what did you find? So much. My perception of just the world opened up and it was a lot more we instead of me. That's powerful. You're 23. Most 23 year olds. Would you say they're misinformed? There can always be more to learn, a okay. new perspective to see things in. Okay. And with just how much accessibility we have to information okay. and to the difference of information and misinformation, it's extremely important right now that everyone just does a little bit and uh, opens their eyes to the broader picture of it all. So how can we do this? If you're saying we get this show out to your age group and you're, you're a generation Z. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you said something very poignant before. Tell us your story about when you talk to me about how you felt compared to 
the Russian people. Yeah. This, this hit my heart, to be quite honest. That was truth that came out of you. So when you started learning this information, how did you feel? Confused. I, I don't understand why Putin sees my life, your life, your life, Ukrainian life, as any less valuable than his or his Russian people. We're all humans on one earth. It doesn't make one person's life more valuable than another's. That's one of the most powerful statements I've heard in a long time. That why does he value Russian lives more important than, you, than American lives or Ukrainian lives? Considering he wants to rule Ukrainian people on a regular basis. So let's think about that. He wants to take over Ukraine because he wants to rule it. Mm -hmm. Then how can he believe Ukrainians and their lives are less useful than Russians' lives? Mm -hmm. Considering they all used to go to the shore together, but now with Mariupol, it's completely devastated. Is it just destruction, do you believe he's after? Or do you feel just having that power to do what he wants, and now it's like a bully? We were talking about the bully syndrome. Would you say he has that? Oh, definitely. But I also think a lot of it stems from insecurity. There's no foundation that all of this is being built on. So it's just those quick little grabs of, well, if I do this, I'll have that power and feel better. If I take this, I'll have that power and feel better. If these people fear me, then I am more powerful than them, thus making my ego feel better. But there's no stability in the thought process. Yes. There's no reality to the thought process. Yeah. Once again, you're listening to Diane Wesley's Calm Through the Chaos. Like, share, subscribe, bell notification, any and all of those. Let your other friends know. We want your opinions. But for now, absorb these stories because it could have been you going through what she's going through and what all the people in Ukraine are going through. This is why I put this together. I'm sorry, this gets me. This, sorry, this really gets me. That there could be these atrocities in this time and era. Not since World War II, my friends, not since World War II has there ever been such atrocities. My dear friends, the listeners here, and our new friends, we have been gaining new friends every day, every week. This is what it's all about. This is the ripple effect. To reach out to us, please email us at dianewesley at calmthroughthechaos.com. That is dianewesley at calmthroughthechaos.com. If you want to reach out to us, go to the email address, ask questions. If you have stories or if you want to be on our show, we have a lot of people that are going to be coming on over these weeks and months. They're lining up because they know they want to be part of this story. Thank you for this. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for all the days and weeks to come because Calm Through the Chaos is what it's all about. Everybody stand up.